There you are. It's another day. Today I'm out here with Kathy for her first kayaking trip of the year. I'm out on a lake called Muskrat Lake. Growing up, everybody called this hard luck lake because they couldn't catch anything in it. But that's probably because they are in a giant stink boat making a bunch of noise. They weren't professional anglers like Kathy and I are. So uh, I have a tournament that starts next month that I'm trying to practice getting ready for a uh, bass tournament. And I got to take pictures and measurements and upload it and all that stuff. So I'm going to practice doing that today. All right, ready to get serious? That's my girl. I think we'll start over by the lily pad. Noisy geese here. I gotta learn how to position the kayak all over again. Constant adjustments. Yeah, so if you're gonna get into kayak fishing, I highly recommend it. It's easy because you don't need a lot of gear for it. You can strap it on top of your car and you're off to the races. But if you're going to get into it, you got to get ready for the, ooh, something hit that, the shock of always having to adjust your kayak to, uh, to the fishing. Oh, oh that's a rookie. Man. Because it's constant adjustment. And it's frustrating sometimes. At least it is to me. It's like, oh man, I just want to fish right here. And I got an anchor and I can kind of do that. In the lake, I can get away with it. But in the, the creek, the, but in the rivers, I just can't. I think this looks froggy to me. What is that? Is that weed? Ooh. Oh, what just happened? That's the first time I've had that happen. My double uni knot broke. I lost my leader. Oh, I'm gonna tie another one. That's something I'm gonna really try this season of uh, this second season of Outdoors for a Change is not to get so frustrated when I break off like that. Just retie. Get back. Get back in the game. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of surprised that not broke though. I never had the double uni knot break like that. All right, I think I switched to this bad boy. So I don't know how long that took me to retie. But I know last year that would have upset me, having to do all that. This year's a different me. It's not that I turned over a new new leaf on life and all of a sudden I know the secret to living. But I lost my son at Christmas. 
None of that crap matters. Nothing like that matters. Being inconvenienced because I gotta tie a knot on the water. Ooh, big fish. Big fish. Babe, what do I got? Like, none of that matters. What is it? Oh, it's a big bass. It's not bass season here. No, what is it? He's ugly. Oh, he's not ugly. He's beautiful. He's beautiful. Oh my gosh, that is my personal best bass. And just like that. So that's a 19 inch bass. And this would have been pretty good in my tournament. And there she goes. But I was saying none of that, I tied that knot. Last year it would have frustrated me having to retie. There I just retied it, timed myself kind of, and then uh, was just saying that none of that matters because I lost my son and tying knots just seems stupid to get mad about that. And then boop, <laughs> boop, but it, Surprise's secret to life is don't sweat the little things. Don't get so upset about it. Life is fragile. Seems really fragile to me right now. But I just lost my kid three months ago. I say kid, he was 32. But I'll tell you what, just getting outdoors for a change. Helped me get through the death of my son. Well, that and the Lord Jesus Christ. But one of the things I kept thinking is one day I'll be back on the water. And I'll be floating and fishing. And I'll be at peace. I'm at peace when I'm out here. At least when I'm not getting mad about knots and tangles and casting in the trees and all that stuff. But if you can get outdoors and make it a hobby, whether it's fishing, it's easier to commune with God, I think. Because everything out here is God made. We live in worlds that are man-made. I said that before in another video, but how can we be happy in a man-made world? We just can't. But thankfully, we live in a God-made world. And all we gotta do is get outdoors to, to see that and commune with them. Thanks for showing up for lunch. We are just in time to review a beef strips and savory tomato base sauce MRE. I think it's gonna be delicious, at least I'm hoping it will be. Let's dig into it and check it out. First bag I've seen like this. Here's the beef strips. Garlic mashed potatoes. Should be good, hopefully. 
peppermint candy rings. Cranberries. Peanut butter. This has to be crackers, no. White wheat, white wheat snack bread. Blackberry jam and some Irish cream cappuccino. All right, first we'll get the doesn't take much. We got lay it flat. A little bit to activate it. Slide the mashed potatoes in on this side and the beef strips on this side like this and then we'll prop it up like this. It's heating up. Let's check out these uh, peppermint rings. <laughs> They're lifesavers. It even says lifesavers on it. I wonder why it doesn't say peppermint rings on there. Well, let's see if they're fresh. Mm-hmm. Good. Want to try one? Let's check out the cranberries osmotic. I'm not sure what osmotic means. Do you know? You have no idea. All right, let's see. Mm. Dried cranberries. Definitely dried cranberries. Not bad. Not my favorite. But if you like dried cranberries, you'd like these. We've got the typical pack here of beverage base cranberry grape. We've reviewed this in another video. We know that tastes good. We'll make that in a minute. Two pieces of gum. Some salt. Towel that. Toilet paper. Comes out. Comes in handy if you're out in the woods. That's tasty. The drink is tasty. All right, let's dig into this bread. Hmm. I like it. First, let's check out the garlic mashed potatoes. Not bad. <clears throat> All right, let's check out the uh, beef strips. All right, let me just try taste this. Mm. Tastes like Denny Moore. <laughs> <laughs> 